Hey, my collective lovies. What's going on, my family? How are you guys doing over here? Long time no see. You know, it was just yesterday. But I miss you guys. Thank you guys for tuning in to your daily messages. This is Empress Meek, and I'm here to shine some love and light on your path. Let's go ahead and dive in. These videos resonate with all signs, all placements. It's a very general message. So when you get it is when you're meant to receive it. Okay? Don't um try to make it fit if it doesn't fit. Okay? How are you guys doing? Talk to me in the comments. Don't be shy. Somebody is on their spiritual path. Okay? I see somebody on their spiritual journey becoming more enlightened, growing, okay? Changing. All right? So let me see if I can help you out understanding this journey. Forgiveness heals. So Spirit wants you to know, take time to release repressed anger as it is blocking your health and happiness. So somebody could be holding back some type of anger or there's a situation that really has you angry. Maybe you feel like somebody treated you unfairly here. Maybe you are trying to figure out um, your way through this situation, but somebody is not liking how they feel about this, okay? So Spirit wants you to work through your feelings and try to hold back being angry. All right, let's see what else is here. Holy Spirit, thank you so much for blocking and binding all negative energy, entity, witchcraft, wickedness, anything that may be coming up again this channel or your divine will for our lives. We thank you for giving us blessings and abundance, messages of clarity, truth, love, and light, victory in every situation, and healing. Amen, amen, and amen. All right, self-confidence through God confidence. This came out in another reading that I had before, but it says believe in yourself by believing in the God working through you, the God in you, working through you. So there's a big God in you, okay? You are a part of the divine creation, so you do have God in you, all right? And, and trust that the God in you is working harder than anything that could be coming against you, okay? So you can release those frustrations and negative energy, maybe resentment and anger, okay? And continue to flourish, continue to grow, continue to elevate on your path. Spirit wants you to know that you guys have heightened intuition. So if you're watching this message, you have heightened intuition. And right now your intuition is very strong. Moonstone is significant here. I do sell healing bracelets on my website, closer the number to mydestiny.com if you want to purchase yours. Um, but Moonstone is very significant here. Be extra aware of your inner knowingness as it is trustworthy. Moonstone helps enhance your intuition and it also helps protect your intuition. Spiritual path. So your beliefs are becoming clearer to you, which prompts you to make necessary life changes. Somebody is realizing that they're on a spiritual awakening. Somebody is on their spiritual journey. I feel like you are shedding old habits and beliefs that don't serve you. And you're starting to learn more about your growth, your spiritual knowledge and awareness and your spiritual gifts. So you're in the right place, baby. You are on safe grounds, okay? Safe spiritual grounds, all right? So if you want a reading to find out where you are on your journey, book your reading at closer, the number two, mydestiny.com, and I'll plant some seeds of healing, elevation, and enlightenment, okay, for you. Answer prayers. All of your great work has opened the door for divine solutions and support. So no matter what you feel like you're up against, it might be too hard for you, but ain't nothing too hard for God. Okay. You are divinely guided and protected and spirit wants you to know that. Answer prayers. Okay. Unikite. That's significant here. And I think I have that stone as well. Okay. So they may help you. Um, being more in touch with spirit and your spiritual side, okay? So then we have Lapis Luzi, all right? And I have that stone here as well. Here it is. And it brings friendship, positive energy, all right? And it keeps a steady flow of love and lighthearted energy, okay? It also blocks negativity, okay? So, yeah. I wish my camera would focus a little more so you can see how pretty it is. But it's really pretty. But the message, it says life-changing epiphany or experience. It is a time of big and blessed change for you. And God is supporting you each and every step of the way, okay? So I feel like somebody is having their finances changing. Somebody is just getting elevated. A lot of great things are happening for you at this time. All right, I'm going to stop trying to put this up to the camera because it's not focusing right now. All right, but I am very happy for you guys. So somebody is definitely on a spiritual journey. You've been guided to this message to help you be more enlightened and understand what this growth is in you. 
Um, so let's go ahead and see what else Spirit wants to tell you today about your spiritual journey. Let's see what else you need to know. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, and Ancestors, and Spirit Guides for my collective lovelies. What else do they need to know about this, their spiritual journey here? What else do they need to know? Show me clear messages. Trust that all will be well. So no matter what obstacles you're facing, Spirit wants you to know that everything will work out for your good. There's a lot of stability, longevity, and growth, okay? A lot of financial increase here. So Spirit wants you to trust that all will be well, okay? So don't get yourself thinking negatively because then you'll manifest negative changes. We want to continue to think positive. I am healed. I'm blessed. All good things are ahead for me. Yeah, so you want to keep yourself in positive, high vibration and high spirits, okay? So you do have a lot of great changes coming your way. And like the card said, God is seeing you through every step of the way. Your prayers are being answered. So this is a time of answered prayers for you, elevation and spiritual awakening. Unleash your kind self. So spirit wants you to walk in love. Capricorn can be significant here. Virgo could be significant here. I feel like you guys are realizing that you're going through a spiritual awakening, a spiritual change. See the bigger picture. Full moon in Sagittarius. So spirit wants you to look more into this situation. All right. Look more into your gifts. Why you see that? Why you see those things? Why you feel those things? How did you know that was going to happen right before it happened? It keeps happening. Why do you keep seeing all these angel numbers? Two, two, two. 555, five, five, 333, three, three, and 444. Four, four. These things mean something. Okay? So Spirit wants you to seek. Find out more. Show me more, please. Take inspired action. This came out in my other reading also. So Spirit wants you to take action. It's time for you to seek. Figure out exactly what you're doing here. Figure out exactly what your goal is, you know? Figure out what your spiritual gifts are and what's the best way for you to use them to your benefit and to help others, <clears throat> okay? And Spirit wants you to know it's okay to own your feelings. If you feel emotional about this, if you feel happy, joyful, um, sad because you have to release, it's okay to work through your feelings and assess the situation Four quarter, four quarter moon in Virgo. So there may, may be a situation you need to look more deeper into. Maybe try to figure out what exactly is going on in this situation. But it's something that Spirit wants you to pay closer attention to. <clears throat> take a breather, okay? Somebody may need to take a break here. Maybe take a break from a person, place, or thing, all right? So let's look into this and see what else Spirit wants to tell you. Let's clarify this message. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestors, and Spirit Guides, clarify this message for my collective family, all signs, all placements. Let's see. New Moon in Virgo, trust that all will be well. Have confidence through God confidence. All right, Knight of Wands energy, so I could be talking to a fire sign here. Um, but if not, this is a card of being passionate. This is a go-getter, a leader, a boss type energy, somebody that's that this this is some fast paced energy so something could be happening fast somebody could be moving away from a turbulent situation here but this knight of wands is definitely focused on what they want to do so spirit wants you to be goal oriented and driven um spirit wants you to focus on the things that are important to you okay <clears throat> finally got it to focus so um yeah the knight of wands goes out gets things done they they're passionate they put a plan together and they um they execute, okay? They execute that plan and they don't spend a lot of time there. After it's done, it's done and they're on to the next thing. All right, so Spirit wants you to be more ambitious and um, try to try to um, pick up the pace some on your dreams and what you want to accomplish. Um, I'm hearing somebody needs to set some goals or write down something, work off a list. All right, this could be more helpful for you for my fire signs. Show me more. Unleash your kind of self. So Spirit wants you to stay in your ground against someone being cold and calculated towards you spirit wants you to know that there's no need to switch places with this person just continue to move forward and everything will work out in your favor as long as you're positive and as long as you're um acting i'm hearing 
um, be intentional about your actions and they will make a bigger statement. Okay. So be intentional. Somebody also has somebody that's kind of mean to them and they don't want them to, um, this person doesn't want them to, it's like spirit doesn't want you to trade places or be like that person. You don't have to be nasty because somebody's being nasty. Spirit wants you to try to own your feelings, try to protect your energy and stay humble. Okay. Show me more. These cards turned over. See the bigger picture. Somebody is crying over spilled milk, maybe sad, feeling like all is lost. But Spirit is saying, look right behind you. All the cups aren't spilled out. You're still wealthy. You're still abundant. There's still more opportunity for growth here. Okay? So don't cry over the milk that's spilled out. Stay positive. Stay ambitious and keep pushing. All right? So you can get more. Okay? <clears throat> One more on the five of cups. Somebody could have got some communication that made them sad. Okay. Um, there's something here. Somebody could have had to sever some ties and it made them sad. Somebody could have had to walk away from this new start or a new beginning. Somebody could be sad that they're not getting any communication from someone. Take inspired action. So, Spirit is saying, <clears throat> Spirit doesn't want you to keep waiting, Seven of Pentacles. Um, it's time for you to continue to invest in the things that you want. Spirit says it's not time to wait and be on pause. So, continue to move. Keep moving. Keep thinking about more ideas to get you to where you want to be. And go ahead and um, plant the seeds for this now. All right? Seven of Pentacles. The Hermit energy. So, the Hermit is shining this light on a snake. Somebody could just be waiting and waiting and waiting. Maybe somebody had you waiting for nothing, all right? Something that's not going to happen. Somebody could just purposely have you waiting. Somebody could be hiding something. It's something here that's going on that is frustrating to you, but Spirit wants you to hold back your frustration. Somebody here is sad about communicating, not able to communicate or something like that. This is no communication. <clears throat> somebody could be sad about taking action or some type of action that they made makes them sad. Assess the situation, Ace of Cups. So it's something that's making you emotional, something that you may need to hold back from. Assess the situation, something could be having to do with the Sagittarius. Um, but this is emotional fulfillment <clears throat> and holding back. Somebody could only want emotional fulfillment from you and not anything stable. Or this is a situation that's making you very sad and crying. It's making you very sad. But Spirit wants you to assess the situation. <clears throat> Somebody may, may need to hold back from a water sign. There's a lot of arguing and conflict here. Something's going on. So it's something about to take place where somebody is going to be arguing and fussing. Maybe somebody is letting somebody else down. It's something like that. But Spirit wants you to take your time, assess the situation. Um, forgiveness heals. So, you know, um, there's some type of life-changing experience going on for somebody here, though. You're going through a spiritual awakening. So down this spiritual path, you'll have heightened intuition. You have to be strong and have confidence through God because not everybody is going to be agreeing with this change that you're making. Um, so I see you here. Somebody is already starting to set their firm boundaries, cut off people that don't serve them, take action and release the things that don't belong in their life anymore. And this could be causing mental conflict for somebody, but these people will understand. They'll understand. Yeah. Some people might feel like you've given up on religion or given up on the practical way. Somebody is releasing what they learned in the church and they're learning how to be more spiritual. And this is a change that you want to make, but don't give up on God. You know, it's okay to release, you know, it's okay. To, or somebody is releasing a relationship or a marriage. Okay. So this could be anything like that. But I feel like you're holding back from arguing, fighting. Somebody could be fighting with you and you're not, you're not standing for it anymore. So this spiritual awakening is helping you. This situation is what awakens you spiritually and lets you know that you're here for something else. Somebody was like, I'm, I know I'm here for more than this. And you are. This is going to make you very happy. 
Your wishes are going to be granted. Your dreams are going to come true and you're going to find peace in your life. You know, this new start is exactly what you needed. So embrace, okay? Somebody is happy. That's what they wanted. Somebody didn't want to stay in this relationship anymore. <laughs> so boom, the tower came. This is a change. This changes everything. Somebody is going through a complete life cha change, a whole transformation. All right. So spirit wants you to walk in your spirit. Keep the faith. Okay. Stay close to God. All right. Continue to move forward and learn about your spiritual gifts and the spiritual path. Okay. All right, y'all. Use your intuition. Okay. I love you guys. Thank you for being here. I love you and I mean it. Okay. <laughs> Talk to me in the comments and let me know how you resonate with this reading. Don't be shy. Don't be shy to um, tell me how you feel down in the comments or talk to each other. Okay. Thank you for your likes, shares, and subscribes. And I will see you on the next video. Bye.